Hello YouTube, I am introducing my new product, the Olidinu ESP board. I have made them, have them made by Elecro. A big thank you to Elecro. They did send me a nice t-shirt, company t-shirt, and it fits and is of a nice quality. Thanks again, I appreciate it. And this is my new board. Let me show you the smaller version. This is how it comes in a 3x3 configuration. Here I can show you up close. This will be a dual display. That's already been, already been sold to a customer of mine to Germany. So let me start actually with the back. So this is designed for ESP07 or ESP12. And you have a slide switch, switch, I'm sorry, a slide switch, which you can, if you have it on the bottom, it's for uploading code. And if you have it on the top, it's for running code. I will show this on this example right there. And you have a USB input for power only in the back. I have a micro SD card slot in the front, an LDO voltage regulator, and the required small parts for it, and four LEDs in the corner, in the front or in the back. You can use them as you wish. So, this is the small board. This cutout is for your thumb. Then you push and push the micro SD card in and out. I say push push because it stays in automatically. You don't have to pull it out. It comes out by its own. So this is the board and this came out really really nice. And all everything is excellent. The uh, silk screen is great. Traces are great. So, I love it. It's actually my favorite board as of now. And Elecro, I show you here again, a oh, little smaller one. Did a nice job on cutting, milling the slots and v grooving the board. You can just break it away. As simple as that. So now let me show you how it looks like when it's finished. This is one finished. And uh, I forgot to say something else. You have also a reset switch in the front here. So, okay. Now from the front you have OLED. You do have the micro SD card and now I show you with the push push. You push, comes out. You push stays in and it's just perfect for your thumb you have no problems getting it out or pushing it in okay you have the reset switch and the slide switch as I said and this one has the ESP 07 right now on there and if you have the switch on the bottom you can upload code and if you pull it to the up or in the up position you can run the sketch on it and one friend of mine asked if it would be difficult to use those buttons because I shared the mounting holes with them. And it's not. If you hold like this, you can easily, let me see if I can show it, you can easily push in the reset switch without getting in the way with the slide switch and vice versa. You can use the slide switch without getting in contact with the push and switch and you have the small USB adapter I was actually gonna leave that off the board but then I decided to just integrate it in there so you can use that to upload code and use that for power it's not recommended to power it from here because the onboard regulator of the USB adapter has only 100 milliamp capacity and the uh, ESP modules can draw up to 300 milliamps. So that's why I 
made the extra in connector and now the connector is towards the back you can just plug it in and it goes out the back without something hanging out from the sides I like it better that way so let me plug this in I first plug it in here to show you what's on there and you see my favorite animation right now dancing banana I have this running I got the boards on Monday today is Wednesday and I have it running since then so it works with no problems okay now I show you how to upload code for uploading code you connect the USB in here if you don't have it already on the bottom you just push it on the bottom just click reset one time so it goes into programming mode which shows here on the blue LED and now I will show you my Arduino I'm using Arduino 1.8.2 and this is the weather station code and I'm just gonna click upload it's gonna compile the sketch let me bring this in there and as you see the animation stopped because it's in uploading code mode <laughs> and we will see and it's compiling it takes a little bit it's not the fastest I don't know if it's just the Arduino IDE being slow or the sketch being big I don't know so we'll see it in a minute okay it's in uploading you can see it down there I got only four minutes left on storage space on the phone I hope I can finish it till then my computer's hard disk is also full okay as you see hold on here. it uploaded the code and it's running simple as that you don't have to touch anything no push no buttons to reset or hold to reset or whatever and you can then you don't have to unplug it just slide it up click reset and then it's starting in the running sketch mode so again if you want to put another code on slide the switch down just click one time reset so it goes into programming mode and now I'm gonna upload my dancing banana sketch and it's uploading again as you see, hands free. Got about three minutes left. I need to buy an external hard disk. Okay, and now you see my dancing banana again and he's happy so then you can of course unplug it put it in running code mode and plug in the USB from the back and it's running again anyhow these are already on sale on Tindy and I just wanted to make sure that everything works before I made the video had it running so this is it I think this is the smallest ESP including a micro SD card reader 
OLED screen and USB adapter and it is this small and there will be you can use any code you want on this anything that runs on the ESP and just use Arduino IDE to upload your code and I just want nah, I leave that for the next video anyhow this is it you can get it on Tindy thanks for watching Take care.